Hey, who even is Keith Haring? Born on May 4th, 1958, this little dude right here will go on to grow up and become one of the most fun artists of all time. Don't believe me? Just wait. He found himself in New York City in the 80s and would commence to draw on the subway tunnel walls that lay beneath the city. There he would make fun off-the-wall scenery, such as dancing figures or dog people. Yeah, and believe it or not, he did it all for the people, oftentimes trying to give them not only a show, but also a piece of art that they could walk by each day and love. Keith would do this for years and years, and oftentimes getting arrested, because while we think of it as art, the police in New York City thought of it as graffiti, and therefore he got arrested. But it didn't matter, because he said, fuck that, and he kept doing it. He eventually upgraded big time and doing full murals on the sides of buildings, and that got him worldwide recognition. He painted murals everywhere, from Philly, to Melbourne, to Paris, to even Amsterdam. Wow. While we are at it, we should probably talk about Keith's crazy cool cast of fun characters. We have, for instance, Dancing People, Barking Dog, Radiant Baby, Dog Man, okay, Scissor People, Mm -hmm. Uh, Batman, yeah, nice. And yes, technically these do tend to represent deeper meanings per character, but you really don't have to if you don't want to think of them as such. They can just be, you know, a dog barking instead of, I don't know, aggression, which is what it's supposed to represent apparently. But again, you could just look at it as a dog barking or, you know, the dancing people as a, I don't know, a celebration of life chance or you can just look at them as people getting real down on the dance floor and while we're at it we shouldn't forget that the radiant baby could be understood as youthful innocence however you could just look at it as a baby just radiating some cosmic energy and that'd be fine too i think Keith Haring was a champion of the LGBTQ community, as well as helped spread the awareness of AIDS in that ongoing crisis, and then also called out the nasty, nasty, nasty crack cocaine epidemic that was sweeping the world. Sadly, Keith Haring passed away after his own battle with AIDS on February 16th, 1990. He left the world way too soon. But what kind of legacy did he leave behind? Keith Haring's success was not only all throughout the 80s and early 90s, but even holds up till today, as his art has become a household name. Seriously, if you haven't even heard about him, that's probably okay, but I know you've seen his art before, as it is on everything from shirts to hats to shoes to stickers to, you know, buildings, because that's what he painted. Come on now. Speaking of his art, let's look at some. Look at this fun one. Wow. Or check this one out. Amazing. This one right here was one of his first and most famous ones as he got super duper arrested from it afterwards as the city of New York kind of thought, uh-oh, that graffiti, what's happening here? But no, uh, actually, the government itself of New York, the uh, Parks and Recs Department, bailed him out and said, hey, no, that was a cool mural. And unfortunately, it got vandalized. So, I don't know, could you, like, paint it again? And so he did. And the second time is still held up today and is honestly probably better because, you know, I mean, the first one was pretty iconic, got him arrested, but the second one has two sides. So really, was it so bad that it got vandalized? I don't know. I mean, yeah, but, you know, now we've got two sides, so that's cool. One side has a full-on skeleton now, and that's pretty wizard, and the other side has got a snake. Look at that little snake eating up a a man who's crossed out for death. Oh, is the snake death? Oh, well, that's not that's not very fun. But objectively, he looks pretty good on this mural. This mural right here, he made in this location as he thought that the community itself was just a very nice feeling community. And, you know, that's that's super sweet. And what better way to say how nice a community is than to slap a giant worm TV man just fully there being rode by people with baseball bats. I mean, I think that's kind of sweet. 
This mural right here is nautical themed, so you already know it's a 10 out of 10 from me. And I mean, just look at it. It's got a sea monster with boats and stuff. <laughs> awesome. And this is a sculpture of two dudes punching each other. How rad is that? This is a dog. That's it. It's awesome. This mural right here is really cool because it was painted on the outside of a building at a children's hospital in Paris, France. He thought this part of the building was super duper ugly. So what did he do? He put an 88 foot tall mural, free handed, only took him three days. Fr only took him three days, free handed, 88 foot tall. What? Why did he do that? Because he's a nice guy. He did it because he wanted to give the sick kids in the hospital something pleasant and happy and fun to see when they looked outside their windows. And wow, that is, that's, that's so sweet. That's, that's precious. And also really metal as hell because that is a tall ass mural. Also a fun little bonus fact. This is not the only hospital mural he painted in his career. Hell no. He painted multiple hospitals, multiple walls, multiple reasons, and they're all awesome. This mural right here is just chock full of characters from Keith's crazy cool cast of fun characters previously mentioned. We have, of course, a lot of dancing people. We even have a dolphin. The scissor people are making an appearance in this one. We have not one, but two babies. One is kind of radiant. The other is just being held, which is cute. And of course, how could I forget this dog is this dog man. <laughs> sorry excuse my language, this dog man is just cutting a groove in this one. And don't even let me stop and forget about the Batman. Because yeah, the Batman makes an appearance in this one. So you know this one is a greatest hits for sure. Keith Haring's death was a tough, tough blow to the art world and world in general. As who knows what he could have made in the future or even now. How much more fun and creativity that man could have shared with the world who knows but let's just be glad that we got all the wonderful art that we did so thank you keith you're awesome and also how many times do i gotta tell you put more batman in there that dude is so rad i mean look at him he's got little bat wings but he, he look at him just doing a t-pose with bat wings that's really dope really dope keith would have been it was a cool character cool character keith